John Irwin, 49, opened up on his cancer diagnosis as he met with his mentor yesterday to find inspiration to remain positive despite his hopeless situation. The TV favorite added he is now looking to change his lifestyle despite it being BL die hard after being told he has just months to live. Sharing a photo of himself with author Jane McClelland, Johnny typed, It was a privilege to meet my mentor Jane McClelland today, author of At How Underscore to Underscore Starve Underscore Cancer. Her story is truly an inspiration and in my opinion a must read for anyone affected by cancer. It's inspired me to change my lifestyle and importantly given me hope in an otherwise hopeless situation. Don't get me wrong it's BL die hard but I'm on board, he added. Jane herself responded, so lovely to meet you at John Irwin. I know it's a tough road but you are determined and strong. Your positivity was so good to see. Here for you and just to help where I can and to point you in the direction of others when I can't. Sending lots of love to you both, she finished. Jane's book has been described as groundbreaking as she described her own remarkable journey with cancer, and the medical discoveries she made on the way. In the comments, Johnny's fans wished him luck and said he already was looking healthier in his appearance. Louise had typed, Love and strength to you Johnny you also look healthier than you did on the Lorraine show in November slash deck if you don't mind me saying so. Sick, Jean Ann underscore Long commented, look look healthier in this photo than in some of the past ones. Hopefully, you feel a bit better as well. Prayers for you and your family. LJM. 74 Lisa asked, what is it? A plant-based diet or? I'm currently fighting cancer would love to know what it's about before buying it. Sick, don't miss, Gudiak at Lazzy said, wishing you all the luck in the world Johnny, there is an awful lot of love out there, willing you to beat this. The 49-year-old presenter was diagnosed with lung cancer in 2020 and was later given just months to live after learning the disease had spread to his brain leaving him terminally ill. Last month Johnny and Jess revealed they had made the decision not to tell their sons about his battle with the disease because, why break their hearts when they're having such fun? When asked if his children understand what he is going through, Johnny told the Daily Mail, not yet. When I'm frailer or in bed for days we might. If you have 20 days left, why spend them in mourning and confusion? Why not just have 15 days of pure, blissful ignorance and 5 days of knowing the facts? I'm not looking forward to the chat with Rex. We're still thinking about it. I've learned that it's best to do nothing if you're unsure, 